Okay, I'd like to call a special meeting of the Joint Special School Building Committee to order. It's Thursday, October 24th, 2019, and we're in the National High School North Lecture Hall. Would the clerk please call the roll? Alderman Dowd? Present. Alderwoman Wilshire? Here. Alderwoman Malitzi Goya? Present. Alderman Jetty? Here. Alderwoman Klee? Here. Ms. Oden? Here. Mr. Garino is here. Ms. Raymond is not here yet. Mr. Mosher? I'm here. Mr. Mosher is joining us by phone as he recuperates. Are you, um, are you by yourself, Mr. Mosher? I certainly am. Thank you. Ms. Porter? Here. We have a quorum. Okay. Uh, would the clerk please... I'm, I'm sorry. We also have Mr. Donovan. I apologize for not introducing Mr. Donovan, Mr. Smith, and Ms. Fitzpatrick. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, would the clerk please give, lead us in the prayer, and would Mr. Garino please lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance as well? Okay. Um, please stand. <clears throat> Almighty God, we have the high honor and the serious duty to manage the educational affairs of our beloved city. Fill us, O oh God, with the spirit of unity and understanding which enables us to face our multiple problems with a serene mind, with justice and charity for all, so that any and all decisions made by us will always be for the betterment and greater happiness of all of our fellow citizens. So help us, God. Amen. 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 To the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. This is a roll call. Um, it was recently pointed out to the joint special that uh, over the course of some time, our motions were not uh, done by roll call since Mr. Mosier was on the phone. All the, ro all the, all the uh, votes were unanimous. And uh, working with Attorney Bolton, we have a motion that will satisfy state law. Laurie? I would like to make a motion to ratify the votes of the Joint Special School Building Committee from November 19, 2018 to October 23, 2019, as indicated by the attached meeting schedule by roll call. Would the clerk please call the roll? Oh, so that's the motion. And would the clerk please call the roll? Alderman Dowd? Yes. Alderwoman Wilshire? Yes. Alderwoman Malitzi Goya? Yes. Alderman Jetty? Yes. Alderwoman Klee? Yes. Ms. Oden? Yes. Mr. Garino votes yes. Mr. Mosher? Yes. Ms. Porter? Yes. Motion carries. Motion passes. Unanimously. <coughs> so um, that also covered the meeting of October 9th, 2019, which was our last meeting. So uh, we have that corrected. I want to thank Mr. Kaufman for pointing that out and so that we can make things uh, abide by state, state law. You didn't have a second on that particular motion. We don't need one at the joint special. We're going to operate under different rules. Okay. So again, this evening, this meeting, right after I stop talking here, we're going to pay bills, which we are required to do so that our vendors keep doing the work for us. And then the, uh, we have one thing, draft calendar for the 2020. So Mr. Smith will join us. And then uh, members, committee members uh, can have a comment. There's no non-public meeting, and then they will adjourn. So having said that, First, uh, remarks by school administration. Um, so I did hand out to everybody a hard copy of the updated uh, financial report, um, along with the two recent invoices we received. So you should have a total of four invoices for tonight. And the second item is I handed out just a, uh, a uh, screenshot of the school district's new middle school project website. So you can just go online and see that for yourself. It contains the entire architect's report, so all the pages are online. 
Um, as you can see on there, it goes sections one through five. And um, we just try to keep that updated as, as we go along, as we have various um, uh, presentations. We're going to include that on the website. And if you see something you think you need more information on or it's missing, let me know and we'll I'll tell, ask Donna to take care of it. <laughs> Alderman Clee, did you have a comment? Yeah, I just have a question. What is the website? Do you know what the address, the website address is on it? So it's uh, www.nashwada.edu, and then you go to the dot edu. Dot edu, right? Okay. And then you go to the for community that shows right along the top here. It's kind of lightened, um, and that'll get you to the then to the middle school project. Thank you. Yes. Uh, I just wanted to let you know I um, understand that the, a question came up about the middle school steering committee meeting with the architects and the construction company. So I've um, looked for some dates and I'm going to talk to Carl and the construction company tonight to see if they'd be able to make an afternoon meeting to meet with the middle school steering committee about the project. Very good. Alderman Lindsay Golia? Yes. Um, Sean, I just want to thank you for doing this. So people are easily able to access this information because sometimes things get buried. So um, thank you for doing this and thank you, Tim. I think Stacy Hines, our communications director, actually well, gets the credit. Thank you to Stacy. She, she yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, covers that. So now we'll go into invoices. Just before we do the invoices, as we go further into the project, there'll be more and more pages of things to be paid. And if everyone before the meeting can look over the invoices to see if you have any questions, uh, I know that I look at them pretty thoroughly to see if there's anything. But right now, they're all fairly standard for the work that's been done. So. Would someone make a motion? Alderman Melissa Golium. Yes, um, I would move to um, approve the invoices to Harvey Construction in the amount of twenty-seven thousand five hundred dollars. Harriman um, Architecture and Engineering fees for fourteen thousand five hundred. And eighty dollars and thirty-one cents. Vanessa and Associates for three thousand one hundred and thirty-five dollars, and Malone and McBroom for eleven thousand four hundred and forty dollars. Okay, the motion on the floor is to pay the invoices to Harvey Construction for twenty-seven thousand five hundred dollars, Harriman A and E for fourteen thousand five hundred and eighty dollars and thirty-one cents, Vanessa and Associates for three thousand one hundred and thirty-five dollars. And Malone and McBroom for $11,440 for a grand total of $56,655.31. That's the motion on the floor. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, would the clerk please call the roll? Alderman Dowd? Yes. Alderman Wilshire? Yes. Alderman Malitzi Goya? Yes. Alderman Jetty? Yes. Alderman Klee? Yes. Ms. Oden? Yes. Mr. Greeno votes yes. Mr. Mosher? Yes. Ms. Porter? Yes. Uh, motion carries unanimously. Okay, next item, draft calendar for 2020 meetings. Do you want people to just uh, take that home and reflect on it, or? Uh, yes, that's exactly what I was going to suggest. <laughs> um, we, we worked around, the, the dates that we usually work around are the Christmas vacation break, uh, backwards, um, Thanksgiving break. And then uh, a couple of school vacation breaks, I think our winter break and our April break. So we try to avoid, and we move those actually to the third Thursday of the month instead of the fourth. But yeah, by all means, uh, take this back, look at your calendars and make sure it all works for you. Okay, any questions on the calendar? No? Marks by committee members? No? I will say one thing. I found out that coming in through the handicap access to this high school is problematic. Uh -huh. It is a thing that you can't get the wheelchair over. Uh -huh. Now that I'm in it for a couple of days, hopefully only a couple of days, um, you have to, it was even hard for somebody to push the chair with me in it over, the, over that step. So we probably need to look into that, not only for this school, but others. And uh, uh, if you're 
I guess if you're an electric one, you could probably whip over it, but uh, it was kind of an issue. So I think we ought to look at that uh, across the board and make sure that we're complying with ADA. Any other questions or comments? Oh, <laughs> yes, Mr. Smith. Uh, so where exactly uh, did you cut? Is Front it out door, in the parking we, lot? Were you going over those homes? No, no, no. Uh, That's hard enough as it is, I found out, but I didn't have a problem with that. No, when you come in the door, you push the button, the door opens. Yeah. There's a uh, little threshold. Threshold, yeah. which is tough to get over. Okay. And I wouldn't have known about it, except <laughs> doing a test run. In fact, anybody that has any concerns about ADA, you ought to get in a wheelchair for a couple of days and find out the problems they have, and then you'd know why we're trying to solve them. Okay, do I hear a motion? Alderman Lizzie Golia. I'll move motion to adjourn. Motion is to adjourn. All in favor? Oh, excuse roll me, call. roll call. call. On the motion to adjourn, Alderman Dowd? Yes. Alderwoman Wilshire? No. Alderwoman Malitzi Goya? Yes. Alderman Jetty? Yes. All the woman Clee? Yes. Ms. Odin? Yes. Mr. Greeno votes yes. Uh, Mr. Mosher? Yes. Ms. Porter? Yes. Motion carries unanimously. All right, we're adjourned at 7.27 p.m. And we will at 7.45 be having the public meeting next door where you can actually see some of the slides, ask questions. The architects will be copying down questions so that we'll all have access to them. But feel thank free. Thank you. Yep. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Mosher. Have a good night.